You are the fire. Today on Trisha. You don't pass the test. I'm going to treat you like a phone stand and you're going to stop. I would never do that to you. I'm done. I'm done. You ain't going to do nothing. I'm done. I'm done. Secret sex lines. Yeah. He gets phone calls, 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Well, you found a receipt? Yes, I have. And was it for what? A meal it's at two? a restaurant for dining for two. She found condoms in his toolbox. I open it up, and there's a box of condoms with only one left. He came home with a hickey. Came home with a big hickey on his neck, and he's going to tell me that a car door hit him. I mean, come on. Look how bright you are, and you yeah. gonna tell me that a car hit you? Yeah. Ain't nobody crazy. You know What's wrong with you? He's got some new tricks in the bedroom. He yeah. want me with the leather boots on, the strap. He want the dog leash, the whole nine. Is this car mechanic letting female clients play with his tools? Hold up, wait a minute. You did what with who, where? I wouldn't even have brought you in the house if I thought you was gonna do the things that you're doing. He found another man's handprint on his wife's thigh. What sort of marks are we talking like, about? You can see uh, fingerprint bruises in our inner thigh legs. The handprints on inside my legs are from him. <laughs> During sex. Did she get caught red-handed? Did the handprints got found on your legs come from having sexual intercourse with another man? <laughs> for an excuse to hand her the divorce papers. As I'm done. You're done. I'm divorced. She's going crazy. I'm done. That's all I need to know. Today on Trisha. Please welcome Misty. Misty's here today because she thought this man, Mark, was her dream come true. Until she found proof convincing her that Mark's been leading a secret sex life. You see, Mark is a car mechanic, and Misty now believes he's giving his uh, female clients more than just tune-ups. <laughs> she claims he's come home with lipstick on his neck and new tricks in the bedroom. In fact, she's even found condoms in his toolbox. <laughs> Let's hear how Misty describes her ordeal. When I first got with Mark, he was everything I ever wanted. He was amazing. Mark would rub my feet. He would make midnight picnics. He was just so loving and affectionate. The fairy tale came to a crashing end a couple of months after Mark moved in. I began to see signs of him cheating, being secretive, the romance and affection, it just wasn't there anymore. One day, Mark came home with a hickey on his neck. His explanation was that a car door hit him. There was another time I was going through Mark's toolbox, and I found a box of condoms. We don't use condoms, so where'd they come from? This relationship has gone to hell. I'm stressed out, I'm unhappy, we're fussing and fighting all the time. It's not just about me, it's about my baby girl, Janisha. She looks up to him like a father figure, and what he's doing is hurtful to the both of us. Now, as you heard, these suspicions are not only affecting Misty, but are truly upsetting Misty's 16-year-old daughter, Ganesha. Now, we'll meet her a little later, but first, Misty, you, what made you suspicious? What made you start suspecting he was up to something, sweetheart? Oh, excuse me. Um, this hurts because I brought him into my life, into my daughter's life, and after I moved him in, it's like everything changed. I started seeing signs of him cheating, and it, it's... Like what? The things like uh, what? He would come home, he came home with a big hickey on his neck, and he's gonna tell me that a car door hit him. I mean, come on. Yes, yes, he, yes. Look at him, he, look how bright he is, and I can tell, I know what a hickey looks like. Yes. I'm not stupid. I was born at night, but not last night. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? Okay. So a lot of women say if their man's cheating, the signs of suspicion that around their phone. Have you noticed anything on, on his phone? Or? <sighs> Girl, he gets phone calls. He's a mechanic, right? Yeah. He gets phone calls two, three, four, five o'clock in the morning. Who's calling to get their car fixed at that time of the morning? Who? I mean, I mean, come on now. Now the other thing women often say is that. Their sex life changes. Oh, girl, let me tell you about this. He wants to do the dominatrix, the dominatrix thing with the whip and the... What? Yeah, he want, he want me with the leather boots on, the strap. He want the dog leash, the whole nine. <laughs> Come on. 
That's a new thing. That's a new thing. It's like, well, who the hell you been messing with? Who, what, what are you doing out there? The other thing I said is that, as every mechanic has, he, he has a toolbox. And you found something pretty disturbing. Oh, my goodness. I go out to his toolbox to get a hammer. Lo and behold, I open it up, and there's a box of condoms with only one left. So what did he... Did you, you ask him He, he claims that the toolbox, they've been in there from a friend. A friend put them in there. He had no idea. Dude, you're a mechanic. You use your toolbox every day. How do you not know that there's condoms in the toolbox? <laughs> I believe that he's lying. I believe that he's cheating. And I'm hurt. I don't even know what and to you do. And you got a 16-year-old daughter. Yes, and that's, that's the other deal. I've never... My kids can count on one hand how many times I brought a guy home. I don't do that because I don't want her to know that's how you get down. I teach my son this is not the way you treat a lady. So there's not guys bouncing in and out of my house like that. And for me to let him come into my house yeah, and come really into my thing. life and come into my daughter's life like this, yeah. it's, it's devastating to me right now. Has because she, I, she seen anything, she, your daughter? She, she told me, she didn't want to say anything, but she did tell me when she was riding home from school that she saw on two separate occasions females in his vehicle. And I'm like, what? And he said, she said, Mom, I know it wasn't you. It wasn't you. So I think it's time we heard his side You're not of things. Right here, is he? Well, no, that's for your daughter, okay. I think. I hope. Yeah. Let's meet Mark. Mark, come on out. Boo! Really... He's scared. Boo! 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 Oh, boo. It is. None of it true. How's it gonna be true? What do you mean how's it gonna be true? Look how bright you are. And you gonna yeah. tell me that a car hit you? Yeah. Ain't nobody crazy. You know how What's wrong with you? No, man, I'm not going for that. I'm not going for that. Hey, hey, if you well, don't pass this stuff, you know that I love you. You know that I love you. I wouldn't hurt you like that. I would never do that to you. I would never hurt you like that. Sweetheart, sit down. Let's, look, let's hear Mark's side of things. Okay. So, Mark, that mark on the side of your neck was what? The car door hit me. I was getting out the Some car. Stay. Sometimes I move Some real fast. Okay. And, I, yeah, and I was getting out the car, and, yeah. and the car door, the corner of the car door hit me, and okay. it put a bruise on me. It wasn't no hickey, because okay. I don't even let no women around me like that. I don't no, get down like that. Okay, what about the, the condoms in the toolbox? Condoms in the toolbox. Yeah. My toolbox was previously stolen out of my car. Right. And my buddy gave me a toolbox. It yeah. had the condoms in there. Right. I don't use condoms with my woman. I don't need condoms with my woman. So it wasn't even your toolbox? It, it was, my buddy gave me a toolbox, and it had some said. tools in that it. That's not what you told I don't, me before. I don't even use magnums. What do you mean? Come on. I don't, I don't use condoms. You know, man, <laughs> we don't use condoms, so... What did he tell you before, then? You said the story's changed? Yeah, the story has changed. He said he didn't... He, a friend put him in there. Three in the morning, you're getting phone calls, truly, for work? Sometimes. You know, some who, of my customers go to they, work who, early. Who need their car fixed at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning? People that have early work schedules, and then I don't oh need to pick their vehicles Do y'all know anybody that get up at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning to get their car fixed? <laughs> Well, that's, that's how it is. Yeah, some people are saying, yes, they do start that early in the morning. OK, now, you, <laughs> Janisha, food hang on. <laughs> Let's talk about Janisha. You, 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 what's your relationship like with her daughter? My relationship with her daughter is real good. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. I try to be the father figure for her and show her the rights and wrongs, what to do and, you know, how to live life better and do, get do her you, education and everything. Would you like to see her be with a partner who treats her the way you treat her mom? Well, I don't treat her mother bad. I don't think. Oh, no, I, mean, I didn't say you would treat her bad. I just, we wouldn't be here. Since no, all no, these no, accusations have no, been no, happening, I, 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 I didn't wait until something that I'm not doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lie detector test is going to prove that I'm not lying. Okay, but what I I, all no I'm asking is... I don't have nothing to hide. But what I'm saying is, would you like to see her with a guy who treats mom like you do? That probably like right now, that wouldn't be good because our relationship is not good right now because she, uh, all these accusations. What? It's, uh, so it's pushing the two of you apart. And the dominatrix yeah, it is, it stuff, is. where did, you know, the dominatrix... I want her to be my dominatrix. That's my baby right there. I love her. So where'd you get the idea from? Where'd I get the idea from? Mm. Just hanging with some buddies of mine and some of my buddies are in that lifestyle and I thought it might be interesting if my woman could be like that with me. What kind of stuff you be doing with your buddies? Are you coming back with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like some, some of the clubs that, that I don't get to with them and just like different things, you know. The clubs you go to. Uh, what some of the clubs you go to? We need a new lie detector. Yeah, I don't know if it's some like swing clubs with some of my buddies. I haven't even well, got you, down with them. Uh, I'm not well, like you, that. you went to but, the swinger clubs with your buddies. Yeah, you, you know, because that's the type of lifestyle. Wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. You did what with who, where? 
We need a new question. You didn't know this? No. <laughs> so you I'm just trying to have something different to spice up my sex life with my So wife. what you been doing different then? But hang on, I if you... I haven't been doing nothing different. Hang on, I've been I'm watching some different things, but, and that's hey, about I, it. I, 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 I haven't, I haven't participated. I'm confused. I haven't I'm confused. participated Me unless too. you ready I'm like for Trisha. It. I'm confused. I'll tell you why I'm confused, because you, if you go to a swingers club, they don't let you just observe. You've got to join in, exactly. I understood. No, you don't. No, you don't. Exactly. They have a special booth. They have a special booth where you don't even have to perform. Oh, what? You go and sit in the special booth and you just watch everyone else perform? You can get this. Yeah, right. You Not... knew this? No. Let's take a break, because when we come back, we'll find out why Misty's 16-year-old daughter, Janisha, may have the most to lose in this battle. <laughs> Up next. I wouldn't even have brought you in the house if I thought you was going to do the things that you're doing. The well, lie to well, you better be telling the truth, because well, if not, I'm going to treat you like a flight of stairs and you're going to step. Well, 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 well. And later, he found another man's handprint on his wife's thigh. Stacy's a dog groomer. She says her bruises are from dogs getting rough with her at work. I bet somebody was getting rough with her in the bedroom, and it wasn't a dog. The handprints inside my legs are from him. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. We've been talking to Misty, who suspects her auto mechanic boyfriend Mark is cheating on her with his female clients. Now, she says he takes calls from these clients in the middle of the night. He comes home with hickeys on his neck. And she says she's even found women's phone numbers in his pocket. As a result, this couple is at war, and sadly, the biggest casualty is Misty's 16-year-old daughter, Janisha. Now, Misty, you said she looks up to Mark as a, as a dad, as a father yes, figure. Yes, she is. Like I said, he's the first man that I've brought in the house for, you know, for interaction. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because, I don't, like I said, I, I just don't do that. I don't... I don't... But, but if you two are arguing, it's going to change your relationship it with your daughter. It changed the whole dynamic. Yeah. And I mean, I don't like to argue around... I mean, then why do you do keep... why do you do what you do if that's not what you want? Because I'm trying to keep bread on the table. I like to keeping eat. Keeping bread on the table, but I bring the meat to the table. So I don't fill the freezer up. I don't ever fill the freezer up. I don't ever do any of that. I don't help pay bills. I don't happy. cut all of that in no, half. You with you. Got, I don't but do if you did what you're supposed do to do, anything. we wouldn't even be here. We wouldn't even be having these issues, and we wouldn't even have to bring my daughter in the middle of this. I wouldn't even have brought you in the house if I thought you was going to do the things that you're doing. Well, we well, don't know yet. We don't know yet. Prove that I'm well, not by that, better prove it. Okay. Not, I'm telling you, the lie like detector, the well, lie detector, well, you better be telling the truth, because well, if not, I'm going to treat you like a flight of stairs and you go step. Well, 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 I know how to step, too, but at the same right, let's time. Let's take the break. Let's take the break. Because, at the same uh, time. It's a wrap, right. dude. It's let, a wrap. Let, let, let's, let's call it, because it's I want to hear about Janisha at the moment. Now, she sat down with our producers. Listen to how she describes this predicament in her own words. Mike means a lot to me because he's the only father that I've ever had. I've never met my real dad before and him being in my life is very important to me. I definitely think Mark is cheating on my mom. I've seen him with two women on two different occasions and they both weren't my mom. This is also affecting the relationship between me and my mom because I feel like I can't go to her with my personal problems like I used to. The relationship between my mom and Mark is horrible. Mark's actions are really hurting my mom because she's crying and I really don't like that because when she cries, I cry and it really hurts me. Oh, Janisha, come on out. Let's meet her. <laughs> so, sweetheart, you hear mom cry? Yeah, she, does, she doesn't know it though. Do you hear them argue? I really do. I hate hearing them argue when they're upstairs. I'm downstairs. When they're downstairs, I'm upstairs. I'm getting tired. I'm tired of them 
arguing all the time. Now, did you say that you you think you've seen Mark on a couple of two occasions? I, I don't think I know I've seen him. Mm -hmm. See, that's not right. You've seen there tonight. It could be happening. But let, let's, let's see. That should not be happening. Well, how long we don't know it could be a family member? What, what Was this twice? You saw it Mark in the car? It was two women on two different occasions. The same woman, do you think, no, twice? No, it was two different women. See, what kind of lady is that? They both by, wasn't by my me, mom. Be, by me being an auto mechanic, should I not drop my customer off if they need a ride home? Now you're a taxi? Now you're a taxi? If, if it's my customer that's been my customer for 20, 25 now you're a years, taxi. I'm going to make sure that customer has so, everything they so need. So why wouldn't, why wouldn't they? They would drive you and drop you off, wouldn't they? Yeah, you I'm wouldn't. sure. If, if, if you're paying me $1,000, I'm going to drop you off where you need to be dropped off. I'll build it just no, because. Not, this is what I do. You're not a taxi driver. You're not a taxi. You're a mechanic. So, so I'm just supposed to just take take their car and just fix their car when and let them find When you go to, when you go to any yes. other um, mechanic shop, they don't take you home. They, yes, give, they, they, give, you, they give you a car to drive. So you're saying you haven't cheated? No, I wouldn't cheat. You, you, that's just not within your nature. Let, let's that's let the lie detector tell. Let's okay. let the lie detector test tell what's okay. going on. We'll, we'll say that. Because I ain't got nothing to hide or no reason to lie about right. what I'm doing. Right, I'm doing putting the, the bread on the table. Okay. So what happens if the lie detector test comes back? What do you think, Janisha? If the lie detector comes back and says Mark has been lying, do you think your mom should stay with him? No, I don't think he sh she should stay with him because if he's cheating, once a cheater, always a cheater. He's gonna have to go. <laughs> What if he's telling the truth? If he's telling the truth, then it's good, because I need somebody in my life that's a father figure, and I really appreciate him being in my life and being that father figure to me. But, darling, whatever happens, whatever happens, one thing we learn, whether he's your stepdad or he's your real dad or any man, the relationship he has with your mom and the relationship you can choose to have with him, they're kind of separate things. You can keep one going without the other one happening. I don't know what the lie detector's going to say, but I just want you to remember that, yeah? <laughs> OK, so let's find out. Um, we've come to the moment of truth. Our private investigator and polygraph examiner, Tim Acosta, is here. <laughs> and uh, we, as usual, I, I do not know. All I know, the questions, I'll read from here. The questions asked what you said, Mark. Now, I want you to remember that your daughter's here because know, first and not, foremost, I'm you're a, a mummy. I'm going to be a lady. You're going to be a lady, I hope so, because I don't know what the results are. So let's, let's go. We asked Mark, do you want to be in a relationship with Misty? You said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined. Coming up, is this car mechanic letting female clients play with his tools? Did the condoms that Misty found in your toolbox yeah, belong right to here. you? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined. But first, he found another man's handprint on his wife's thigh. Stacy's a dog groomer. She says her bruises are from dogs getting rough with her at work. I bet somebody was getting rough with her in the bedroom, and it wasn't a dog. The handprints inside my legs are from him. Get off my stage! Secret sex lives. And you did what with who, where? Today on Trisha. Welcome, Scott. Now, Scott claims to have a laundry list of evidence that points to one thing, that his wife of eight years, Stacy, is cheating on him. <laughs> Scott claims he saw another man's handprint on Stacy's thigh. Oh. He found an overnight bag in her car. Oh. Strange men's clothing in the house. He even believes he caught Stacy washing proof from, from her underwear. Oh. Now, Stacy says she's innocent and wants the relentless accusations to stop today. Listen to Scott's story. I've been with my wife, Stacy for nine years, and I love her with all my heart. We have been married for eight years, but the last year has been total hell. I believe stacy has been cheating on me, and it's tearing my life apart. When Stacy tells me she's going to work, I believe she's having sex with another guy. One day I went to her work, and I sat in the parking lot for an hour, and I never saw her once. 
Stacy's a dog groomer. She says her bruises are from dogs getting rough with her at work. I bet somebody was getting rough with her in the bedroom, and it wasn't a dog, it was a man. I found a pair of guys' pants and shirt in my house, and I know for a fact don't belong nobody lives there. I do all the laundry, and I know what clothes we have. I saw an overnight bag in the back of her car, and it was filled with shampoo, bras, underwear, and even a toothbrush. Stacy has everybody thinking I'm crazy, even my own mother. I'm telling you, my wife is cheating, and I'm on to her. Today, I'm gonna prove to Stacy, my mom, and everyone else there's something going on, and I'm not crazy. Well, I want you all to know that Scott's own mother, Linda, is here today in our audience. And ironically, she is on Stacy's side. Now, we'll talk to Linda a little bit later, but Scott, when do you think it is that Stacy started cheating on you? When did all of this start? Oh, about a year and a half ago. Have you ever spied on her? Yes. Where do you watch her from? Um, I watch her from, the, from my car, sitting across the parking lot to see if she's there. And do you, what do you see? Um, nine times ten, when I get there, she's, she's usually already gone. Have you seen marks on her body that makes you think maybe she's having sex with another man? Yes, I have. What sort of marks are we talking like about? Handprints. My wife's anemic, so, you know, you can see her. You can see uh, fingerprint bruises in her inner thigh legs. And what's she saying that's down to? She says it's from the dogs when she's grooming them, you know, when she's getting haircut. From dog grooming? Yeah. Do you believe that? No, I do not. You don't? No, I do not believe it. Do you check her underwear? Yes, I have. You have? Yes, I have. When she comes home? Yes, I have. Can I ask if you found any evidence? Yes, I have. You have? Yes, I have. What I've done is I quit having sex with her about five or six days and compared to what she, what she was, what she has. So, yeah, I have. Oh, I my have gosh. Yes, I have. And what, what does she think about that? What does she say about that? She doesn't like them, but, you know, I mean, I had to know something because she was driving me crazy. So why are you hanging around? If she's such a cheat, why are you hanging around? I love, I love my wife. I love my yeah. wife. I love her. Your mum, Linda's in the audience, and Linda, uh, what do you think? What do you think? Do you think your daughter-in-law is messing around on your son? No, I do not. Why do you think that Stacy's not cheating? Because I know she loves Scott, and I also yeah. know that if if I was Stacy, yeah, I would be gone. And I told him, I said, Scott, if you can ever t find a picture or a snapshot. Maybe then I can believe it. I said, but I can't believe it. Until you can show me something, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. But I know Stacy. You're not there. I know Stacy. You're not on the phone with you. I know you're not. You're not my house. You have no idea what she's lying to me about. But she's never given you a reason to run around on you. I mean, what reason do you think? She, Scott, all together all the time. So you fight about this? Well, we've been arguing. You know, when your wife's sister. Yes, right. Because when your wife's sister, you got a receipt. Well, your wife ate dinner with somebody else besides you, but she's supposed well, to be at work. Well, you found a receipt? Yes, I have. And was it for what, a meal It's at two? a restaurant for dining for two. And did your wife explain how that no, came to No, she didn't. She told me I was lying. I got a receipt in my hand, black and white, and she sits there and tells me I'm a dollar. There it is. That's right. She's taking, she's printing her damn receipts out. And, get, and those are the results she showed me. Exactly. Okay, exactly. all right. Let's take a break. Let's take a break because when we come back, we're going to meet Scott's wife, Stacy, who swears she's an innocent yeah, right. woman. Wow. Back after this. Coming up. Now, if you don't stop this, you're going to find yourself a divorce. Okay, now what about the handprints on the inside of your The handprints on the inside of my legs are from him. And later, is this car mechanic letting female clients play with his tools? Did the condoms that Misty found in your toolbox yeah, belong right to here. you? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. Now, we've been 
talking to Scott, who's convinced that his wife Stacy is cheating on him, and Scott has compiled the longest list of evidence I think I've ever heard, from restaurant receipts to strangle marks or, or strange marks on the inner thighs to checking, you know, his wife's underwear and much, much more. Now, Stacy swears she's innocent, and Scott's own mother, Linda, is on Stacy's side. Now, we've given Stacy a lie detector test, and we'll get to those results in a moment. But now it's time to meet Stacy. So, Stacy, come on out. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. You don't stop this, you're going to find yourself a divorce. You don't stop this, you're going to find yourself a divorce. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. So, Stacy, let me ask you did, you, did you recently admit that you had cheated on Scott? Nine years ago. Okay, so let's go through some of the evidence. Um, you used to call all the time, now you don't call anymore. No, because every time I get on the phone, he hears people in the background. Oh, no. so you don't call. <laughs> Overnight? I, I call him, yeah. but then when I do call him, he hears people in the background, or what's that noise, or who's in the car with you? Why would I call him on my break if I was going to have another man in the car with me? Hey, my all these words, and they're turning my phone, if they is, I get to take them, they go okay, through nothing. Linda. So, okay, you're saying the teenagers put those... I have three teenagers. From the time I get home from work, it's generally 5, 30, 6 o'clock, my kids grab my phone. They got it until bedtime every night. And what, about, know what about the underwear, the, 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 the lingerie that Scott seems to think I know? I have a 13-year-old daughter. I guess I'm supposed to um, show my underwear to him before I can buy them for my kid. Okay, now what about the, the, the handprints on the inside of your The leg? handprints on inside my legs are from him. Do you, do you try to get rid of uh, evidence by washing your underwear no, or anything I do not. like that? No, I do not. But he has got me to the point now that when I leave work, I have to hurry up and make sure I'm home by 5.30. Because if I'm not home by 5.30, yeah. when I walk in that door, they'll look on his face. So other guys, do they I... send texts to you or messages no. to you? No. no. What about on Facebook? Or what, what was it you said you, you saw? Uh, I'm iPhone. sitting here or lonely. On her iPhone. I have no idea what that was. It said on the bottom, it was an email actually, and on the oh. bottom of it, it said powered by Yahoo. So I think it was some kind of advertisement. Oh, those ones that yes. come yes. in. Yes. Okay. It was Scott, an email. Scott takes any little bit of information, something that the kids can type in or get from their friends. And blames it on me. And blames it on her. Why do you think all of this started? What is your theory? If you're saying what the, Scott's dreaming all of this up, what do you think started it? I'm not sure exactly what started it, but Scott always thinks he's right, no matter what. And he does not like to be proved... Let me tell you something. Your wife quits calling you every day. He does not like to be proved wrong. Mm. When and she gets calling you every day, keeps coming in from work, comes in with bruises on her legs like she has, I'm not dreaming of this You know what I mean? Uh, hey. Okay, now, we know Stacy's done a lie detector test. What happens if the lie detector says your wife is lying and she's been cheating. Do you stay with her? What do you do? No, I want to divorce her if she comes back. You walk mean, away. <laughs> Let's get the results of the lie detector test. Um, Tim Acosta, our private investigator and polygraph examiner, and Tim is with us. Now, as usual, I don't know anything. I'm just reading from the card, and Tim is going to tell us whether uh, Stacy gave us truthful uh, answers or if she was lying. So, are you ready for this, Scott? Stacy's lie detector results. Stacy, we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with another man the day Scott accused you of having a sunburn and found suntan lotion in your car. I think this is the time you thought she had been out sunbathing by the, the lake with some other guy. Okay. Uh, you said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined... Coming up, she found condoms in his toolbox. Did the condoms that Misty found in your toolbox yeah, belong right to here. you? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined... But first... Stacey, we asked you, did the handprints and bruises Scott found on your legs come from having sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. Tim? You are the fan. Get off my stage. Sex lives. And you did what with who? Where? 
Today on Trisha. I've been with my wife Stacy for nine years and I love her with all my heart. We have been married for eight years, but the last year has been total hell. I believe Stacy's been cheating on me and it's tearing my life apart. When Stacy tells me she's going to work, I believe she's having sex with another guy. One day I went to her work and I sat in the parking lot for an hour and I never saw her once. Stacy has everybody thinking I'm crazy, even my own mother. I'm telling you, my wife is cheating and I'm on to her. Today, I'm gonna prove to Stacy, my mom, and everyone else that there's something going on and I'm not crazy. If you don't stop this, you're gonna find yourself a divorce. If you don't stop this, you're gonna find yourself a divorce. What about the underwear, the, 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 the lingerie that Scott seems to think I'm I have a 13 year old daughter. I guess I'm supposed to, um, show my underwear to him before I can buy them for my kid. What about the, the, the handprints on the inside of your The handprints on the inside of my legs are from him. All right, so let's get the results of the lie detector test. Um, <laughs> all right. So, last night, Stacy sat down with Tim Acosta, our private investigator and polygraph examiner, and Tim is with us. Now, as usual, I don't know anything. I'm just reading from the card, and Tim is going to tell us whether uh, Stacy gave us truthful uh, answers or if she was lying. So, are you ready for this, Scott? Stacy's lie detector results. Stacy, we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with another man the day Scott accused you of having a sunburn and found suntan lotion in your car? I think this is the time you thought she had been out sunbathing by the, the lake with some other guy. Okay. Uh, you said no. Tim, what did the lie detector show? The lie detector determined that Stacy was being truthful. Did the handprints and bruises Scott found on your legs come from having sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Stacy was being truthful. Thank you. Yeah. We asked Stacy, we asked you, was the receipt Scott found in your purse from going out to eat with another man? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined Stacy was being truthful. We asked you, we asked you, Stacey, do you wash your underwear to get rid of any evidence of having sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined Stacy was being truthful. admitted to have you had sexual intercourse with another man during your relationship with Scott you said no Tim the lie detector determined Stacy was not being truthful <laughs> Do you think after all of this time of spying and checking up, checking up on her and knowing don't know where I've been to her work? No, I've been to her work and I've seen her not there. Right. I've seen her not there. Well, my Only eyes, one thing. You're not gonna tell it. me she wasn't there. You know what I mean? I ain't no way in hell. Okay, I, we've told him he's right on one thing. On the other things, I guess I well, still. Well, it's like always. He only hears one thing. <laughs> well, that's one thing. All I need to know. <laughs> hell yeah. She's cheating. That's all I need to damn know. No, I am not. Cheating. I cheated on you one no, time ago, no. nine years ago. Okay. If it picked that up, that must have been what it picked up. The man asked you besides that one time. Yeah. Besides that time, so that means you cheated on me since then. Well, I'd like to know with who. So would I. So do Look you want to leave you with... You have sit there and lied to me a thousand damn times. Uh, and every time I try to call somebody to find out, the only you have to sit you already, you already put in their head already, you have called everybody I know. No, that's you have told to every, me. No, you have Your told me. Your friends no, have come to no, me and told you me have, that you need You have called everybody in my family I know. You? I know. Every time they every come, time around, come up, you, you, you have made this. You implanted all this yourself. Years, well, it don't matter. I'm divorcing you. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What do you want to do? Do you want to sit down with our counselor and talk? No, I'm done. You're done. I'm divorcing her. She's going me crazy. I'm done. She cheated on me. That's all I need to know. That's all I need. She cheated on me. That's all I need to know.
Look after yourselves, both of you. You came every, here for the truth, and that's what you got. Every time Stacy tries to leave him, he rolls up in a ball and cries and begs her not to leave. And well, Mum, you maybe, but maybe, but maybe the whole thing is. It's interesting, Linda, that Stacy talks about depression because that's the thing that I hit upon as well. If he gets like that again, and if he gets in such a state, if he may, says anything that causes you so, any concern, reach out for help. Mm. Hard to reach out for help, and you won't let him help you. You can always call. And, and, and let me just say, let me just say to people watching, this is a really important thing. Uh, people say people do things or say things for attention. I don't believe in that. If somebody actually says something that has you concerned, reach out for help, not yourself, but get the appropriate services involved and let them handle it. At least alert someone to the situation if it's not you personally because he, he won't hear from you. Should it come to that, please mm -hmm. do reach out. Okay. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Up next, is this car mechanic letting female clients play with his tools? Did the condoms that Misty found in your toolbox yeah, belong right to here. you? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined. Secret sex lives. And you did what with who? Where? Today on Trisha. When I first got with Mark, he was everything I ever wanted. He was amazing. The fairy tale came to a crashing end a couple of months after Mark moved in. One day, Mark came home with a hickey on his neck. His explanation was that a car door hit him. There was another time I was going through Mark's toolbox and I found a box of condoms. We don't use condoms, so where'd they come from? It's not just about me. It's about my baby girl, Janisha. She looks up to him like a father figure, and what he's doing is hurtful to the both of us. Look how bright you are, and you gonna yeah. tell me that a car hit you? The lie detector test is gonna prove that I'm not lying. Mark means a lot to me because he's the only father that I've ever had. I definitely think Mark is cheating on my mom. I've seen him with two women on two different occasions, and they both weren't my mom. Mark's actions are really hurting my mom because she's crying, and I really don't like that because when she cries, I cry, and it really hurts me. I do not know all I know. The questions, I'll read from here. The questions asked what you said, Mark. <laughs> now, I want you to remember that your daughter's here because uh, no, first I'm and not, foremost, I'm you're a, a mummy. I'm gonna be a lady. You're gonna be a lady, I hope so, because I don't know what the results are, so let's, let's go. We asked Mark, do you want to be in a relationship with Misty? You said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined Mark was being truthful. <laughs> When you get late night phone calls, are they really clients? And you said yes. Tim? The lie detector determined Mark was being truthful. Yeah. Oh. 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 I ain't got no reason for none of that. Right. We asked you, when Misty saw the mark on your neck that you say came from your car door, was it really from a woman other than Misty? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined Mark was being truthful. Yeah. We asked you, did the condoms that Misty found in your toolbox yeah, belong right to here. you? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined Mark was being truthful. <laughs> okay. Okay. One, more. One, more. One more. One more. We asked you, in the past three years, have you had any type of sexual contact with anyone other than Misty? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined Mark was being truthful. Yeah. That's it. That's all of it. Mark didn't have no color. I told you I wouldn't do that. You done loved my wife, and I was going to make you my wife. Come here, baby girl.
sex lives. And you did what with who, where? Today on Trisha. Okay, I want to thank you for watching, but like I said, if you come here asking for the truth, Tim Acosta is someone we very much admire, his great work, but if you ask for the truth and you're going to get it, you need support in dealing with it. Take care. <laughs>